How's it going guys? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here once again. So with just a few weeks left to go, I'm putting the final touches on all my preparation for my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. Now I've been putting out a lot of videos in regards to how I'm preparing with my equipment physically and mentally, but some topics that I haven't discussed are some of the life decisions that have to be made, much like the life decisions that have to be made by my other fellow through hikers. Some of those things consist of like what to do with your apartment or your house. What should I do with my job as well? Am I going to have a job when I come back? What kind of plans and events do I have going on with family and friends so I can say my last goodbyes and so we can celebrate the fact that I'm embarking on such a tremendous adventure? And of course, with everything that is going on, everything that I'm preparing for, and how am I coping with all the stuff that needs to be done? So I figured with just a few weeks left to go, it would be a great time to put out this video and hopefully help some of you out who are planning your own through hike as well. So settle on in, let's go ahead and talk about it. So okay guys, like I said, in today's video, I wanna cover some of the different life decisions that I felt were best for the success of my through hike. So number one, we're going to cover uh, my living situation. You know, what am I doing with my apartment as well as where am I storing my personal belongings? Number two, we'll go ahead and talk about my job situation from there, the discussions that I had with my managers as well as the plan that I have for after my through hike. Third thing, we'll go ahead and talk about some of the different plans and events that I have scheduled with friends and family so that we can get together for one last hurrah. And last but not least, I figured I'd go ahead and talk about how I'm coping with everything that's been going on, all the different things that I've had to prepare for, and all the different things that I've had to do in preparation for my through hike, you know, and just, just how I'm doing personally, how my mindset's doing, how I'm doing physically, so on and so forth. So since I have a brand new backdrop behind me, uh, I figured I'd go ahead and start off talking about my living situation. So for my fellow through hikers out there, obviously more than likely you're gonna own an apartment, you're gonna own a house, uh, whatever the case may be, you obviously have to live somewhere. And when you go on your through hike, you're gonna be leaving for such a substantial amount of time, obviously you have to have a plan of what to do with that living space. Now depending on your situation, that does leave you with quite a few options. So here's what I'm doing with my own apartment and where I'm storing my own personal belongings. So with weighing all my options, crunching the numbers, doing the math, uh, I felt the best decision moving forward for me would be to completely move out of my apartment. Certainly I could have gone through the task of trying to sublet my apartment out, or certainly I could have worked out a deal with my landlord to cut my rent or, or do something to save me a, a little bit of money um, so that at least I did have a place to come back to. But after weighing all my options, you know, putting pen to paper kind of thing, I felt the best decision moving forward would be to completely move out of my apartment and to give it up. So number one, that's going to be a lot of money that I am going to save. That's one expense that I don't have to worry about. One less thing that I do have to worry about and concern myself with. And as well for after my through hike, it does give me a little bit more flexibility with what I want to do and maybe where I want to go. Certainly if I still held on to this place, you know, that means I have to come back down here and either move all my stuff out. Um, and do what I need to do if I choose not to live here in the future. So weighing all my options, I will be completely moving out of my apartment. So and then where am I going to store my personal belongings? Now certainly keeping in mind that I would like to come back here, I did right away look at some inexpensive storage units just to be able to store my belongings uh, in the event that I did have to move out of my apartment or sublet my apartment. Obviously I can't just keep my stuff here. But at least if I did plan on moving back down here, my stuff would already be here waiting for me. However, then taking into consideration that maybe I do want some flexibility as of uh, what I want to do and where I want to go after my through hike. And as well, my parents were gracious enough to offer uh, for me to leave my stuff in their new house. They have a ton of storage space. Um, so they said, hey, if you want to save a few bucks, just leave your stuff here. So I am very grateful for them and I will be going in that direction. You know, certainly I could find some great deals and great prices on some inexpensive storage units down here, but I don't have all that much stuff to begin with, to be honest with you. The majority of all my stuff really is my backpacking and camping equipment. And a lot of that stuff I will be taking with me, of course. 
Um, my parents' new house, they have a ton of storage space. So they were nice enough to offer, uh, allowing me to you know, keep my stuff there for no cost at all. Um, and at least it'll still stay tucked and out of the way for them. So thank you, mom and dad. I really do appreciate it. Uh, really just gives me one less thing to worry about, one less thing to have to deal with, and it just makes things so much easier for me. And then from there, let's go ahead and talk about number two, what I'm doing with my job. So for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I actually work at REI, an amazing outdoor company. So of course, they actually encourage us to do these kinds of things. And so just the overwhelming amount of support that I've received from all my managers, all my coworkers, has just been a huge comfort for me and a real humbling experience for me. Um, and I'm super, super grateful for that. So that being said, a few months ago, I did have a sit down with my managers to discuss my options and come to the best decision for all of us moving forward. I purposely had that meeting really early on months ago. I wanted to try to be just as out in the open about this whole thing as possible and just really do things the right way to not only set myself up for success, but also make sure that I'm preparing the company and setting them up for success as well. I love working there. I want to just do right by them and also do right by me. So sitting down with my managers, you know, discussing all of our options and, and really trying to find the best possible decision for all of us, we all felt that the best decision would be for me to walk away from my job at this point in time in order for me to pursue my dream of through hiking the Appalachian Trail. You know, my one manager in particular, Veronica, I love her to death. You know, she just really emphasized to me, just saying, just like, hey, Bob, you know, do this the right way. Do it for the right reasons. If you're going to through hike it, do it for you. Do it for the hike and do it for the thrill of it. You know, do this because you love to do it. Don't feel obligated to REI and to this store because we want you to pursue your dream. That's what this company is all about. And then my store manager, Becky, who has a huge admiration for the Appalachian Trail, she absolutely loves it. You know, right away, she even said, hey, this is fantastic. You know, let's stay in contact as you come up through the area. Let's set up a day where maybe uh, myself and some of your coworkers bring trail magic out. Uh, let's set up some schedules where people can go on day hikes with you or, you can, or they can uh, sign up to do some multiple overnighters and we can work with their schedule. So the fact that they want to support my through hike and support my dream like that and really make it a huge team effort and everything as well and sh just showing the just the amount of support, it just really means a lot. It just has really put my mind at ease for this whole thing, just knowing how many people are backing me up and supporting my decision to do this. So and then, of course, you know, after my through hike, obviously I have to have a job afterwards. You know, the discussion was from Becky again, just, hey, Bob, if, you know, leading up to the end of your through hike or once you're finished, whenever you're ready, you give me a call. Either A, we're going to find your position here at DC if this is where you want to come back to, or if you want to stay up in New Jersey closer to your family, if you want to go to a different part of the country, just give me a call. We're going to find you a place. We're going to find you a home with REI again. So definitely just... Just really appreciative, just a ton of support, and the fact that I also have that kind of plan and that kind of security for after my through hike as well, again, it just has kind of put my mind at ease for this whole thing. You know, I don't have to get off the trail and scramble to figure out what I'm going to do. I have a home and I have something available to me, and then all I have to do is pick up the phone and I can make something happen. It just really has done a lot for me in all my preparation. So really cool that I get to work for a company like that. Really cool that they are just so supportive of, the, of this whole situation. Um, and, and the fact that they are sitting there just saying, hey, we'd love to have you back whenever you're ready. You know, uh, like I said, as you can see with just the emotion that's running through me now, just super appreciative. I can't say enough about that place. So moving on to number three, some of the different plans and events that I have scheduled with friends and family to say my last goodbyes, as well as to celebrate the fact that I'm embarking on such an incredible adventure. So number one, down here in DC, my last day of work will be February 28th. I'm hoping, Feb I'm hoping March 2nd on a Friday, I'm able to get all my coworkers and all my friends together at this local bar around the corner from where we work uh, called Wonder Garden. That way we can have a couple drinks together, uh, tell some great stories, celebrate all the great times that we've had as well. Um, and really just put everything together 
and, and just celebrate the relationships that we've built and, and the great times that we've had over these last few years uh, before I leave for my through hike. Uh, what's really cool is Fernando will actually be coming down uh, fr that same Friday, March 2nd, to help me move out of my apartment um, and as well. So he'll be there. He'll be able to meet all my friends down here and coworkers, um, and we can really just get together and, and, you know, put that cherry on top kind of thing. And then, of course, once we get back into New Jersey, I do have about 10 to 12 days before we leave for Georgia. So, of course, Fernando's parents were gracious enough to offer uh, hosting all of our friends and our family members at their house Sunday, March 11th, the day before we leave, where we can barbecue, have some good drinks, tell some great stories, just enjoy the time that we have with each other before me and Fernando leave. So Mr. and Mr. Rios, Fernando's parents, thank you so, so much for offering that. It's so appreciative. Now, certainly when I come up through DC, as well as going up through New Jersey, we do plan on getting ourselves off the trail for a few days to stop in and visit our friends and visit our families, spend some time with them, share the experiences, tell some great stories before we get back on the trail and continue further north. So we definitely have some uh, good stuff going on. I uh, definitely want to make sure we see everyone that we can and see a lot of the people who have really supported us all these years and who really, really support us in this through hike. Um, it's just been a huge blessing from everybody showing us the overwhelming amount of support um, of course they worry about us, but that just means that they care about us. So the fourth and final thing, let me just talk about how I'm doing, how I am with all my preparation, so on and so forth. So firstly, my apartment is pretty much 90% packed up. The only things that I have left out are things that I use on a daily basis, obviously. Otherwise, I am packed up, I am ready to go. All my backpacking equipment is stored in its own separate spot. Obviously, I want to make sure of that. Obviously, the storage rack that's behind me is no more. Things are really, really underway and getting broken down. And then most importantly, how am I doing physically? How am I doing mentally? Obviously, there's been a lot going on. It can be very stressful. So how am I coping with all that stuff? So physically, of course, you guys know I've been getting in on a lot of day hikes. I just got off the trail from a backpacking trip a week ago. So physically, I feel great. My endurance is definitely up there. My strength is up there. Um, one thing I do have to work on a little bit more is just making sure that I do a little bit more stretching and things. My hamstrings are always, always tight on me as it is. So I definitely want to make sure I get some extra stretching in just to help uh, for the long distance height that I'm about to go under. And then from a mental point of view, how am I coping with everything going on? To be honest with you, I'm actually relatively calm about the whole thing. You know, certainly I'm waiting for that holy smokes moment. Freaking out, man. You're freaking out. But I haven't really had that moment yet. I'm, I'm certainly kind of expecting to have it where all of a sudden just like, okay, this, this is really happening. And as I look around my apartment, I see everything getting packed away. It's getting more and more real by the minute. At the same time, I'm just going down my checklist and that checklist is getting smaller and smaller by the minute. That's one thing I did right off the bat is to create that checklist just to make sure I'm keeping up with everything that needs to be done. There's a lot to be done. It can be very, very overwhelming. So that's why I wanted to create that checklist just to kind of put things into perspective, keep things broken down and keep things as simple as possible. And then preparing for the fact that I'm about to hike for about five or six months, you know, I, I kind of fall back on the fact that, you know, this is what I do. I do this not only from a career perspective, but I've been doing this for years. You know, I have more experience than a lot of number, a, a number of other people out there who are preparing for their own through hike. You know, working at REI gives me the opportunity to meet a lot of people and also help a lot of people and outfit a lot of people for their own through hike. A lot, and many of them have no experience with hiking or backpacking whatsoever. But this is what they want to do. This has been a dream of theirs. So this is what they're. This is so they're going and doing it. So, so having that kind of respect for people like that who have no experience um, and seeing the fact that, hey, they have no experience. I'm sitting here with a ton of it. You know, I'm doing OK. You know, certainly I've been through all kinds of weather, all kinds of terrible experiences while backpacking. So in that regard, just if something happens, just having the confidence, knowing that I can make a split decision at any given point in time and know what to do at any given point in time, definitely has kind of put my mind at ease a little bit. And really, I'm more excited about the experience than anxious about it. Again, in just keeping things into perspective, keeping things simple, 
I'm just telling myself, hey Bob, you're you're just going you're just going hiking, man. This is what you do. This is what you've been doing for a long time now, for years. You know, if you really think about it, all I'm doing is putting a bunch of section hikes together. I'm going from town to town, picking up some food, putting it back in my backpack, and continuing on the way. I get to stay at a hotel, a motel, or a hostel whenever I choose to. You know, I get to do things for me. I get to do things on my own. Be so self-reliant. You know, nobody's out there telling me what to do. I'm not obligated to anything or anybody but the trail. Um, it's a really good feeling. And, you know, as you can see with just my calm attitude here, I can't wait. I can't wait. This is this is what I was meant to do. This is, this is who I am. Um, it's going to be a great time. It really is. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, this is going to be the best time of my life, experience and stories that I will remember forever, people who I'm going to meet that will be friendships that I'm going to have forever. <sighs> Ready to go. We're in to go. We have less than three weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching another great video. I hope this helps some of you guys out as well in some of the life decisions that I had to make in preparation for my through hike that I know some of you have to contemplate as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos, including to follow me on my upcoming through hike. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that share button as well. Leave me a comment or a question down below. I always do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching another great video. Catch you on the next one. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.